And the South Korean government has revealed that it was staying in close contact with Donald Trump's team over the past few months. Seoul has also expressed confidence that bilateral ties won't be affected by the incoming administration. One of Trump's advisors says the two countries can build an even stronger relationship in the coming years. Kwon Zua tells us more. South Korea appears ready for another chapter of renewed Seoul-Washington relations. Seoul's foreign ministry says it has undertaken thorough preparations for the new U.S. leadership and will concentrate on continuing the allies' cooperation on dealing with North Korea. The government hopes to be a part of the multilateral effort to put North Korea on the path to denuclearization by maintaining and developing the current focus on sanctions and pressure, and we will work with the new U.S. administration, beginning with the transition phase. Ministry officials have been emphasizing Donald Trump's remarks that North Korea's nuclear program has the potential to become a global catastrophe. To jumpstart discussions on the subject, the foreign ministry plans to send its special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs Kim hong gyun to the U.S. as soon as possible to meet with the U.S. president-elect's key diplomacy and security representatives. The ministry expressed the hope that the South Korea-U.S. pressure on North Korea would increase, which would also lead to greater pressure on China to take a bigger role in denuclearizing North Korea. Still, there are lingering concerns in South Korea, as Trump has said on several occasions, that he could withdraw U.S. troops from the peninsula. But according to an official on Thursday, the special measurement agreement on the sharing of the financial burden of the U.S. troop presence is due to run through 2018. And for such an agreement to be cancelled, it needs to be approved by both sides. In what appeared to be an attempt to alleviate some of South Korea's concerns, one of Trump's foreign policy advisors, Pete Hoekstra, said Trump believes the South Korea-U.S. friendship is and will remain important as the two sides enjoy strong national security and economic ties. He said Trump will, quote, build on that relationship to grow our economies to the benefit of both countries and coordinate on national security issues to handle regional threats. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.